Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be a full face of products I bought and I never use. I saw Samantha Ravindall do this video like three months ago, so it's been a while, but and it really inspired me to do this video myself because I have a lot of makeup, a lot and there's a lot of it that I don't use. And just like she said in the video, I get a lot of PR. I get a lot of free makeup, as you guys know. I'm constantly getting sent things in the mail, but I do buy a lot of my own makeup as well, as you guys see with all my hauls. <laughs> and I thought it was so interesting and fun to go through all my makeup and just pull out a full face of things that I actually spent my money on and then I don't really use it. Because it's different when you get it for free and you don't use it, you're like, oh, you know, I wouldn't buy that myself. But when you buy it with like the intention of using it and then you don't, I mean, it's rough. Yeah, I'm gonna leave Samantha's video down below in case you wanna check it out, and let's get started. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. The majority of these products are higher end or luxury brands even, because I always find myself buying these luxury items and then never using them. I honestly don't know why I do it when nine times out of 10, I always prefer drugstore and high end over luxury brands, so like, why do I spend my money on that? I don't know. The primer I'm going to be using today though is actually very, very affordable. This is the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. And even though this is so cheap, I honestly never ever use this. I purchased it and I don't touch it. And it's not because it's bad or anything. I've actually heard really good things about this. I don't remember how I feel about it. It's just this is one of those like skin smoothing, blurring kind of primers. And for me, what I'm looking for in a primer is just something that's really going to hydrate my skin. Blurring primers? I don't know. They don't always work for me. I do like the Touch and Soul No Problem one. That one's really, really good. I do use that one from time to time. But this does feel nice on the skin and I actually really like the scent. Like This smells like candy. No, it doesn't smell like candy. What am I talking about? It smells like something good. That actually looks like it filled in my pores really nicely. It feels nice, but it doesn't feel exceptionally hydrated or anything. For my foundation, this is so expired. <laughs> oh. I'm going to throw it away after I film this video and hopefully it doesn't break me out. But it's the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. I was obsessed with this when I first purchased this like uh, two, three years ago. Honestly, it's not a bad foundation. It's a really, really nice, soft, like luminous finish. I was obsessed with it, but I started to realize that it just wasn't lasting on my skin. I was realizing that I had so many more foundations in my collection that were a lot cheaper, a lot more affordable, that just lasted better. So even though I love how it looked initially, because when I put it on my skin, like right off the bat, it looks so gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in that way, where I love how it looks initially, but the lasting power is just not there for me. Oh man, I forgot how pretty this looks. <laughs> I love this foundation. <laughs> Ugh, I already see it sinking into Sally over here. Okay, maybe I'm crazy or maybe it's this combo between this foundation and this primer. But my skin looks great. You know what, maybe if I mix it because the Giorgio Armani Luminous Cell Foundation, I love mixing that to really get it to last on the skin. And I'm looking at this and I like this finish more than the Luminous Silk. I'm gonna go on Sephora and I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make it last on the skin because it's so pretty. It's just, it's just really, it's just really sinking into my lines. I don't know, I'm gonna buy that again. My face is itchy. I'm not kidding. Oh my God, I'm not kidding, my face is itchy. No, that, that, that's my head, that's in my head. Kathleen, <laughs> your face is not itchy. Okay, this is the YSL All Hours Concealer. What a waste of money. I, you know what, I realized that I don't really love YSL makeup. Overall, I'm really not too crazy about their brand. I kind of feel like YSL has a lot of uh, like scented products, like too scented, too perfumey. And it really just, let me smell this. Actually, this, this doesn't smell bad at all. Well, I mean, it doesn't smell good, but there's no like perfume scent like a lot of their products have. Anyway, I quickly realized that before I reach for anything YSL, I will always reach for something else instead. Because in my opinion, it's not worth the price tag for a lot of their things, not everything. And I bought this concealer because I heard somebody raving about it. Oh, wait a minute. It's all coming back, it's all coming back to me now. Okay, when I was doing this video and I was taking everything out, remember, I was only focused on things that I had spent my own money on, and I picked this up and I was like, damn, I bought this and I never used this. It's probably because I hated it, but I remember. This is in the shade three, and obviously it's not as brightening as I would like it to be, but I remember when I bought this, it was too dark for me. I have a little bit of a tan going on, like I've said in the last 28 videos, and I could never use this before. 
I guess until right now. Have I tried this? Yeah, I had to have. Because I remember I tried to buy shade number two or number one and it was sold out. So this was the only one I could buy. But I really wanted to test it because somebody raved about it and my under eyes look great. So <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried this. Do I have another shade? No, that's the only one I have. Oh my gosh, that's, uh, yes, I remember. They didn't have the other shade. So I was the Cepeda and I bought number three even though it was too dark for me. But now it's not and I think it looks fabulous. <laughs> I misjudged you, YSL All Hours Concealer. You know what it is? I don't love the YSL All Hours Foundation. It actually broke me out. Um, the finish was really nice, but it really irritated my skin, and I'm hoping that doesn't happen with the concealer. <laughs> this was literally a product I bought and never used at all. I don't think. <laughs> okay, we got a drugstore product for powder. This is the Flower Beauty Miracle Glow Satin Finish Powder, and I gotta be honest, I don't think I've tried this either. I'm pretty sure I purchased this, put it in my powder drawer, and I haven't used it since. And I think the main reason why is because of the size of this thing. Okay, look at this. Like, this is enormous. Like, every time I open my powder drawer, I'm like, oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna use that beast. But I think this is the powder I hear Casey Holmes rave about all the time. I don't know if it's this one because this is like the glowy one and I know she has oily skin so I don't know. So I'm gonna take this NYX brush and I'm just gonna like, oh yeah, this is a shimmery powder, yeah. Ooh, that actually made my under eyes look really pretty once I dusted off all the glitter. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I wouldn't say this is a baking type of powder because the glitter will like bake into your skin But it leaves kind of like this minimal sheen on the skin I think it looks really pretty and this might be a powder you like if you have dry skin or you want some dimension to your skin Will this be a powder? I will continue to go to over and over again I don't know but I don't want to get rid of it though because I don't know I really love flower I love the brand I, I love that it's drugstore and I love the finish. I just don't love this packaging I think it's crazy. I would never travel with this <laughs> ever but I like it, so I'm gonna hang on to it. I don't know if I like it because I like this concealer so much, but. <laughs> so when I opened up my eyeshadow drawer, I was like overwhelmed by so many eyeshadow palettes that I never use. And I was like, wow, I have so many options. <laughs> I mean, a lot of them are sent to me, but I realized that I purchased this, like the day it came out, and I do not use this. I don't touch this. This is the Colored Rain Cheers to the Beauty. <gasps> is this not available anymore? Hold on, I don't wanna talk about it if it's like gone forever. Oh, okay, yeah, it's still available and it's actually on sale. I, I'm pretty sure I bought this for 50 bucks, but it's on sale for $40 now. This is from the brand Colored Rain, and I really love Colored Rain as a brand. They have awesome liquid lipsticks, and I really like their eyeshadows. I don't think I've ever used this. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I know it's great because Colored Rain eyeshadows are amazing. I don't know what it is about this. I don't know if it's the packaging. It's like very, very large. It's an eyeshadow palette, but it does have like a face highlighter right here. It could be the size, or it could be the fact that it's just like a rainbow palette. But for today, I'm gonna try to just use this palette completely on its own without using another friend. The first color I'm gonna use is powder room and I'm just gonna put this in my crease you guys should really check out colored rain if you haven't it's a really really good quality brand and I would love for them to come out with like more products I'm just not crazy about like this packaging like, I don't know what it is about this <laughs> I don't know because the Queen of Hearts is just like so sleek and black and like perfection you know and this is like whoa, 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 whoa. I mean I get it it's like fireworks it's a color like it's a vibe you know I don't think I've ever said that sentence before. I swear to you, I was born in 1992, but my soul was born in 1942. Now I'm going into Raise a Glass. You know a movie I've been dying to watch? Now that I, I just thought of that for some reason. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I don't know why Raise a Glass reminded me of that movie, but it did. And it's been on my mind and I really wanna watch it. I think I'm gonna watch it after I film this video. Actually, what am I talking about? I cannot. Jesse's coming over and we're gonna film, so I cannot watch a movie. We're not like filming together. We're actually doing a different type of video. Um, I don't wanna say it just yet, just in case it goes absolutely wrong. I don't wanna get you guys excited for no reason, even though that's kinda like what I'm doing right now, but I'm gonna go back into powder room and just blend all of that. I'm gonna go into vintage feels, which I love the name of that eyeshadow. It does give me vintage feels. I'm gonna do the same thing that I just did with Razor Glass and pop that on, oh my gosh. Okay, how many of you guys are all caught up with Supernatural? Um, I'm not gonna give any spoilers, okay, don't worry. But how many of you are all caught up? Am I crazy or does season 13 suck? 
And I don't want to offend any of you dieharders out there because I'm a dieharder as well. I love this show and I feel like it's never been bad. I've always been extremely entertained. I really love that show. But man, I do not like season 13. Like it is sucking for me. I don't know what it is, but it's not my favorite. I'm actually not done with season 13 though. I'm on episode 18. So I still have a couple episodes to go. So maybe the ending is like really good, but I'm, I'm a little disappointed these days. A little disappointed. I mean, don't get me wrong. Dean Winchester will forever be it for me. Like, he is it for me, but I don't know, man. Now I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to go into the shade Grandeur. 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 I can't, I can't say that word. I'm going to put this on my entire lid. These could pass as, like, Natasha Denona eyeshadows for me. Like, the quality is unreal. Really good. I'm trying so hard not to get fallout on my face. I'm telling you, those of you out there that do your eyes last, <laughs> you guys are brave. I'm gonna go ahead and blend the edges of that eyeshadow. Then I'm gonna go back into Vintage Feels and just intensify the crease. And then after that, I'm just gonna go back in with the green shade to just intensify the green shade. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little bit of black butterfly on like a flat brush just to deepen up the outer corners of my eye a little bit. Just so it looks like it's a little bit darker, like right at the edge. And this color has like really pretty like dimensional shimmers in it. Yeah, I don't know what I was talking about. I was like, oh my gosh, you can't get a full look with this palette. You have to dabble into other palettes. No, you don't. You have all your mattes right here that you're gonna need. The only color you don't have is like a dark matte shade. <sighs> I am not used to this face before eyes life. Going back into powder room on a big fluffy pencil brush. I'm just gonna run that underneath my lash line here. And then on a more precise little pencil brush, this one's from the Makeup Shack, I'm gonna go into Vintage Feels. This pencil brush is the Morphe R41. I'm obsessed with the R41 whenever I wanna do like really smoky lower lashes because this is like a big pencil brush, I love it. But on something more precise, I'm gonna go into Vintage Feels. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Black Butterfly and I'm gonna run that on the outer corners right here. I don't know why I make such ugly faces when I'm focusing on my eyeshadow. I'm like, I'm trying to connect the black butterfly to the black butterfly that's on the top of the lid right here. I really love how this look looks just like this. So I don't want to mess it up with liner or anything like that. I'm going to leave it and I'm just going to dive right into mess. Oh no, why my inner corners? And my brow bone, I almost forgot. I'm going to use the lightest shade to highlight my brow bone. Still haven't done my brows, if anybody's wondering. And then I'm gonna take Luxurious Bling as my inner corner highlight. Not necessarily the inner corner highlight I would pair with a green eyeshadow, so I will go over that after, but yes, I love this eye look. And I never really wear green on my eyes because I have green eyes and I feel like it clashes a lot, but I like it. Now for mascara, it was actually really funny because when I opened my mascara drawer, I was like, I know for a fact that any mascara that I buy myself, I use. Maybe not more than like three times if I don't really like it, but if I'm buying mascara, I'm gonna use it. And then I saw this little guy sitting at the bottom of my mascara drawer and I was like, I bought you so long ago and I never use you because you are way too overpriced for what you give me. So I thought this was the perfect mascara for today's video. This is the YSL Mascara Vinyl Couture in black. Yeah, this is so pricey for nothing. I also hate the scent. <sighs> I'm gonna curl my lashes with my Shumu eyelash curler. This is like a Super Mario one that they sent me. <laughs> so I had like the little. Honestly, I don't remember how I felt about this mascara. I remember it being like really wet, I think. I don't remember how much I paid for this mascara, but I'm pretty sure it was most likely more than $28 and so not worth it. I look at this mascara and then I look at my Lancome Monsieur Big that I'm obsessed with and I love, and that's also a pricey mascara, but it just blows me away every time I use it, that I look at that and I'm like, ah, yes, worth it. I put this on my eyelashes and I'm like, uh, 
no. This is not a bad mascara. I just don't think it's worth the money for bronzer. I am so picky when it comes to bronzers. I think that that is the one product where I'm like, if it doesn't work for me, I get rid of it immediately. I like what I like when it comes to bronzers. And I kind of fall into this routine with my bronzers and with my blushes as well. When I find the one, I find the one and this is not the one. This is the Tom Ford Bronzing Powder in Terra. 02 Terra. This is overpriced. It's a freaking matte bronzer. And listen, listen, I will spend a pretty penny on bronzer. My Girl Lawn bronzer. Girl Lawn is a high-end brand. It's very, very pricey. It's expensive. And my Girl Lawn terracotta bronzer lasts forever on my skin. It looks beautiful. Worth the money. This is no different than my Thrive Cosmetics Rhea bronzer. I mean, the undertone on this one is a little bit cooler, so it's awesome for contouring, by the way. It's a good bronzer. It's just Tom Ford. You don't need it. Unless you want this because it's Tom Ford, it's just I never ever use it because I look at it and I'm like, no, you are not worth, you are not worth that price tag. And I remember really liking this. I was using it for a while until I used, I think it was my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula that is way cheaper than this and I liked it more and I was like. You can find a dupe for this in five minutes. I feel like the thing with um, luxury brands is that I'm never really like, what is this? This sucks! But I'm just always swayed by that price tag. Like, my opinion always is affected by that price tag, you know? Okay, for blush, this is the YSL, another YSL product. Blush for Loop Day, like powder brush, blush, powder blush, in the shade Heart of Light. When I first saw this, I was like, ah! This is me in a blush. You guys know if I had to wear a blush for the rest of my life, it would be some sort of orange peach. But, here's the thing. It's beautiful. The packaging is stunning. The color is beautiful. And even when you apply it, you're like, oh, that's nice. But it's a matte blush. And the little square in the very middle right here is a little shimmery. It kind of has like glitter to it. Actually, that looks really pretty. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. I really like how it looks with this eye look. But I can find this blush somewhere else for a cheaper price tag, that's really what it boils down to at the end of the day for me. I try so much makeup on a daily basis that it has to really, really impress me in order to impress me. And I'm so critical on these luxury brands. And I'm always thinking like, okay, this is pretty, but where can I get this exact same blush for cheaper? <laughs> okay, so for highlight, I'm actually using something that's pretty affordable. This isn't a highlight, actually. This is the Kiko Long Lasting Wet and Dry Eyeshadow in the shade 208. This little guy has history. I purchased this because I was really on the hunt for this product, guys. Back in the day, this was like one of those coveted products that everybody wanted because it was kind of like a MAC Whisper of Guilt dupe. It was supposedly a dupe for Heat Wave as well. And people were going nuts because it's so affordable. It's an eyeshadow. I finally did find it. And it sits in my drawer. I'm pretty sure now it's like super available on Kiko. Nobody talks about this anymore. This is also like a dupe for that Laura Geller Gilded Honey highlight everybody's obsessed with. This is the Y14 brush from Morphe. Maybe now with my tan, the gold will look a little prettier. I feel like this highlight really emphasizes my texture though. Wow. I actually do not like how this looks. Is that weird? I feel like I used to love this. So I'm gonna melt that in with a face mist. And normally I would just grab my Morphe one, it's the best. But I'm gonna take this because this is a product I bought and I never use. This is the Lila B Aglow Face Mist. Not because it's bad, this is actually a really great dupe for the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, but they're like the same price. <laughs> so you're not getting a cheaper dupe. It's beautiful, it's just so pricey. I don't know if it's worth it, and I prefer the mist on my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, so. This is a beautiful product. This gives your skin a gorgeous, dewy, healthy glow. I mean, just look at my skin. It made my skin so amazing. But it's the same pickle I made with Tatcha. But I do think the Tatcha one is worth it because I love the mist on that one. So I just prefer that one. And for that reason, I bought this, but I never use this. <laughs> so for lips, you guys know I'm obsessed with the Marc Jacobs eyeliners. I think they are incredible. Marc Jacobs lip liners, eh, I've had better. Uh, this one is always falling out. Is it this one? Psh, tanto dinero. I don't think the formula is anything extraordinary. I'm gonna use the shade Slow Burn, really pretty color. Oh, actually, I don't like Slow Burn with this eye look. Darn it! I don't, I don't have a nude. You know what, I'm not gonna use a lip liner. Just know I have two Marc Jacob lip liners that I bought and that I don't use because 
I have other lip liners in my collection that are better and cheaper. So I actually bought this not that long ago, but I realized I have my ColourPop Moon Child lip gloss that I like wear all the time. So I never wear this lip gloss. This is the Pat McGrath lip gloss in the shade Flesh Astral. Flesh Astral. Such a pretty color. Like really, really gorgeous. Look at this. So pretty. Look at this. But as you know, Pat McGrath can get pretty pricey. Wow, though. Wow. This smells amazing. How did I never notice that before? Mmm. This is a very pleasant experience, actually. I like it. Um, my Moonchild lip gloss is a nude with gold shimmer in it. This is kind of like a nude with gold shimmer in it. So obviously, naturally, I'm just going to reach for Moonchild. This nude is a little bit deeper in tone, but I just always reach for that gloss whenever I want a nude with shimmer. So I never really think about this. So it's been sitting in my lip gloss drawer since I bought it, and I don't really use it. But now that I'm wearing it, I'm like, mmm, you smell delicious. You look delicious. <laughs> I'm actually really excited that I did this video because I feel like I rediscovered things that I wasn't using for no reason. <laughs> but that completes this video, guys. This is the finished look. I am gonna get rid of this highlight and this blush and maybe even this bronzer because I don't feel like it's worth it. But the rest of the products, I kinda wanna keep using them. But uh, yeah, this was fun. I just realized I forgot to put gold on my inner corners. I'm gonna do that right now. Gorgeous eyeshadow though, which is what it's intended for. So. Darn it, should I keep it for that? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this type of video. Maybe I'll do something similar to this or these types of, I don't know, I'll think of something. Or leave me requests down below. But I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I don't hate. I, I, I don't know. I don't even know. Buffalo soldier in the heart of America. Oh, 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 oh. No, oh, Nick, put it with me. What are you going to leave me, put you? Come on, Bobby. Let's go, baby. Traitor. Traitor! No, I said he's a traitor. I said he's a traitor, not you're a hater. <laughs> this blush and this highlight, it's not my favorite. Oh, gosh, the dogs. Oh, 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 oh,